How to use Polygon and Ethereum to buy NFTs on OpenSea. Easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with purchasing your NFTs on OpenSea using both Polygon and Ethereum. So let's get into it. Now, a lot of people wonder that if they want to buy a NFT on OpenSea. So if you go into the all NFTs section and we're just going to enter a maximum price of two dollars and we're just going to load a couple of items up and i will just show you guys a example of what i mean when you're buying with ethereum versus when you're buying with polygon so we open up this nft over here or nft like this over here and you want to purchase this nft so you add it to your card but there are two options so you can either directly purchase this using ethereum which is a token that is you know it has uh it was considered one of the best tokens out there but recently because of this widespread use the gas fees and the overall impacts are not as efficient as they possibly could be so Instead of using Ethereum, you might want to use Polygon. And Polygon is not the token that you're going to be buying with. Polygon is the blockchain. So if you want to store this on the Ethereum blockchain, you will have to pay in ETH. Even if you want to store this on the Polygon blockchain, you will still be paying in Ethereum, but you would be storing this on the Polygon blockchain instead of the Ethereum blockchain. However, if we talk about Polygon's native token, instead of Polygon's native token being ETH, it is actually Matic. So these are just some of the major things that I wanted to explain before we get into purchasing using either ethereum or blockchain now to get started with purchasing any nft you need a wallet so I have MetaMask over here and it currently is on Ethereum mainnet and I do have a couple of tutorials on MetaMask, how to get started with MetaMask. So make sure to check those out if you don't know how to set up your MetaMask account. If you already have your MetaMask account set up, then you are ready to go to the next step, which is to go and choose your blockchain. So whenever you start with your account or whenever you create your account on metamask it is obviously always on ethereum mainnet whenever you do that it go automatically goes to the ethereum mainnet the second thing that you can do to go ahead and purchase or store your nfts on the polygon blockchain network is to swap your blockchain so we can swap our blockchain using pancake swap or uniswap we're going to be using pancake swap over here and this is a platform that allows you to change the wallet address or change the blockchain of your wallet but if you don't want to go with another app you can actually go into google and just simply search for a connect metamask to polygon and you will get the specific address that you have to connect to i will show you guys both these ways now you can see over here on pancake swap you have multiple different options like ethereum bnb smart chain or aptos if you want to switch to those networks you can do it directly from pancake swap however if you want to switch to polygon then you will have to go into polyscan.com now First off, if you want to purchase your NFT on OpenSea with Ethereum, we're simply going to go onto OpenSea. And what you're going to do is you're just going to go and choose the NFT of your choice. Let's say we just want to purchase the, uh, this NFT over here. We'll click on add to cart. Then it will show you to connect your wallet. So from here, we will connect our MetaMask wallet, which is on the Ethereum mainnet. I will click on next over here, click on connect, and my wallet will be connected. I will click on accept and sign. And we will just sign on the MetaMask pop-up as well. And once you sign on the MetaMask pop-up as well, we can click on add to cart, view our cart over here. We're going to add this one. And once you do that, you can simply click on complete purchase and your purchase will go through. And that is it. So that is all you need to do to buy directly on the Ethereum mainnet blockchain. Now, this is a simple way. This is how you probably have been purchasing NFTs if you have been in the past. However, if you want something a little different, which is to store your NFTs on the polygon blockchain for that what you're going to do is just go on to polyscan.com and you can see over here you have polygon mainnet and polygon testnet there are two options and what you just want to do is open up your metamask wallet from over here and you can actually click on your account details and view on etherscan and to just to get detail of your wallet address your wallet address remains the same but you can simply click on the blockchain or network on the top over here where it says ethereum mainnet i previously connected to polygon that's why it's showing up directly for me for you guys it won't show up so you will just click on add network over here 
And once you click on add network, you actually have to enter the network information. So what you want to do is you can go into the Polyscan server and copy the addresses from over here. And you can simply input it from there as well. So that is one simple way that you can do this. You can simply go into sign in over here as well on Polyscan, enter a username or create a account to connect your MetaMask and switch to the Polygon network in that fashion as well. So now you can see over here we are on the MetaMask Ad Network section and you will just go on ahead and input the network name. So just copy these settings as I am telling you guys. Polygon has two basic network as I just showed you guys on the Polyscan. We have Polygon Mainnet and Testnet. So if you want to connect to the mainnet, you will click on over here and just enter the network name which is Polygon Mainnet. Then you have the RPC URL which you're just going to add as it is. So just pay this information just like that or just uh, take a screenshot when I fill my MetaMask up at the end and you will be able to uh, switch as easily as we have over here. So after that we're just going to add our explorer which is going to be Polyscan and that is why you actually need Polyscan and after that you're just going to click on save. And now you can see I have been connected to the Polygon mainnet. So that is how simple and easy it is. Now all your funds can be saved in a Polygon network. Now if I refresh my OpenSea account from here and I go into explore and I go into any kind of NFT, so I can click on complete purchase over here. And you can see it still shows me that I would need this much Ethereum plus gas fees, whatever it might be. But instead of it being stored on the Ethereum mainnet, I am going to be connected. But because my wallet is connected to a Polygon mainnet, my NFTs or whatever I have in my network is going to be on the Polygon mainnet. And that is how simple and easy it is to bridge from one network to another on MetaMask. It's a simple to use wallet, although it primarily functions the best. It has the best, you know, uh, settings or optimum settings with ethereum mainnet it still does work very well with polygon as well now this is just for the polygon mainnet you also can connect to the testnet as well but i would not recommend that for storing nfts because nfts can be pretty valuable and you want to make sure that they are safe and in a uh, very glitch free kind of environment so for that going to the mainnet is probably the better option now, I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with purchasing your own NFTs using both Ethereum's blockchain network or the Polygon mainnet network. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave them in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and share this video with a friend or two to help us out as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video.